OMG, my boy squad. You gotta see what she's doing. I don't want to frighten her, but after a few days of being in this cage, look what she's finally doing. She's perching. Oh my gosh. She looks like such a big parrot. How do you like it? Okay guys, I wasn't completely honest. <laughs> I put her up there. But look, she's totally capable of perching. I put her up there because she wasn't climbing the little sticks, but I still want her to get that feeling, have a taste of what it's like to be on a big chunk of wood with her claws. And she's like totally fine, look at her. Good girl, she, she's starting to chew the wood. She's looking around. Okay, I think she's, she wants to go down. Okay, come, 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 I gotcha. You can grab onto my thing, my pinkies. Yes. Ow. Oh. Ow. 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 <laughs> that felt like a lion biting my fingers. Ow. Her claws are sharp. My goodness. Good girl. Yes. See. Every time she goes through a new life experience, I have to like be there to encourage her and praise her. I don't want that perching experience to be traumatic for her because she will remember. It'll register as a negative event and she'll just constantly be afraid. But I don't think so because, I mean, these are parrots. They naturally love to perch. She's doing a great job so far. Man, your back feathers are almost all grown in. Look at this fluff. It's going away. Mm-hmm. So Mabuhai squad, look at how smart she is. She thinks that this lock is what controls this door. Either that or she just loves to play with it. But she unscrews it. I was wondering who was, who kept like making it really loose. This is just the hinge for like keeping the tray inside insecure. You know what I mean? But I kept wondering why is it so loose? And it's because she's been unscrewing it. Go ahead, it's okay. You can unscrew it, I don't mind. That activity allows her to use her mind. So guys, replaced the small box with something larger. There's a lot more space for her now. Um, and as you can see, she's loving exploring it. I love that it's got some rope here. You see that? She can chew on all of this. It'll be great. It's much larger. See, and she loves using her nails to scratch at the bottom. Um, and I could just cover it like this, see? So she wants privacy. She can have all the privacy she wants. You see that? Mm-hmm. I also love it because if you look over here on this side, this perch is just right here, meaning possibly she might be able to go on the perch and then on top of here. So this is kind of another level of play field for her. And then hopefully she'll step onto here. See, you see it, you see it, you see it, say the progression, and then hopefully up here. All right, it's evening. The bird already ate. <laughs> and she's like totally in play mood now. Yeah. Scratch your neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's checking out the camera. Checking out, loves the legs. Mm -hmm. Now guys, I wanted to also address something. Um, someone left a comment listing all of the, I guess, drawbacks of having a parrot. Um, and I thought that was a very good idea. Um, this person had left kind of a reality check post for those who have been watching these vlogs and have loved the bird. Mm -hmm and these very rewarding times and companionship and joy she brings, right? But a lot of people, a lot of you guys, understandably, were like, oh my gosh, where did you get her? I want one too. Go poo, go poo. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Mm -hmm. She's so excited. She's like, yes. Good girl, you pooed. <laughs> Sorry, potty training. Understandably, a lot of you guys were like, hey, where did you get her? How much was she? I want one now and all of this. But I thought early on, I wanted to address some points because I totally get the stance from this person who posted. It was a very responsible post to do. I wanted to let you guys know a few things. All right guys, so as I was saying, first and foremost, keeping a parrot like this, She's my first like large scale parrot. I've had budgies in the past. Um, I've cared for lovebirds in the past, cockatiels. But these parrots can live upwards to like 80 
years. That's a long time. That's like two generations. So these parrots end up becoming, I guess, pamana, what's it called? Inheritance <laughs> to lower generations. So if I have kids, this, my kids will have to take care of this baby. Mm -hmm. And then it might even go down to the next generation. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's a very long-term commitment. I've thought about this. I think I've been thinking about getting an African gray for at least 10 years. Seriously, like even back when I was living in Canada, I'm like, I want an African gray. But at the time it was, it didn't make sense because one, I didn't have enough money and I'll go into that later. And two, I wasn't sure where I was going in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey. Like my life hadn't been figured out yet. So, but now, I mean, I'm like, hey, this is, I guess the perfect time. Cause like I'm at the settling age, looking now for my like permanent place, even thinking about retirement. Yes, I'm in my thirties, but thinking about retirement, call me weird, but I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, hey, you know what? This can finally work. For me. Also, I'm earning income now. I'm not in the same place I was 10 years ago when I was in debt. So, all you guys watching out there, if you want a parrot, one, do you know what you're doing in life over the next, like, lifetime that you'll be alive? Do you know where in the world you'll be? You know what I'm saying? Because these are things you need to think about before getting a parrot. And then second of all, they're not cheap, these birds. These birds are expensive. They're expensive. Mm-hmm. And there, you have to like be able to invest in a cage, in toys, in vet bills, OMG. It's not cheap. So if you're kind of in financial debt or you have money problems, I would not suggest getting a parrot. Now, some of you guys have been saying, oh, but what about when you travel? First of all, I don't have to travel. The reason why I do travel, even when I tour, like performing concerts, the reason why I do travel is really just for pleasure, to go visit that country. And to be honest, usually the money earned from these concerts, it's just, it's like shopping money. So I do it mostly for the joy. But now that my bundle of joy is right here, I have no plans of traveling. Like work may take me out of the country every now and then, yes. But I do have a plan for that, Ate Elsie. She's amazing at taking care of all my pets. Um, and I'm starting to get her used to being around at the LC. Actually, she's already used to being around at the LC. My helper, by the way, you, for those of you who are new to the vlogs. She's my everything. She's like my savior. Awesome. I call her house manager because she does so much more. So yeah, I mean, I have a full, I have staff that can help take care of my pets and my, my bird. If I'm not here, fully capable people who also love the bird. So um, it made sense for me to get this bird. So for all of you guys, what about when you have to leave? Do you have someone to be able to take care of this bird? Someone capable, right? And will you like take the time to get that bird used to that person? Because these birds, they're very um, sensitive and like sometimes they can be kind of iffy with strangers. So if your answer is no, you shouldn't get one of these parrots, right? Finally, I am no stranger to birds. I've been keeping birds my whole life. Yes, this is my first parrot and there are so many new experiences, but it's not my first time keeping a bird. Mm -hmm. I've raised many birds from like, from young, from starlings, chickens. Oh, what? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Malaya, who was a crested mina, and now a parrot. So they say keeping a, a, a parrot like this is not a good first time bird. But if you've never kept birds before, a bird I would recommend is, I, I say don't get a finch. <laughs> because finch, those little birds that live in cages, they, you won't feel that satisfaction of like love. If you're gonna go for a bird, and if you're a first time bird owner, I would say go for either a African lovebird, really small, but they can bond with you. You can even train them to free fly, or you can go for a cockatiel. Cockatiels are awesome, guys. They love to be cuddled. They're very affectionate, smart like small-ish bird with the, they have like these crests, but they're small. Um, and they're very attractive birds. Those two, I think, make the best first-time birds. Of course, budgies too, but I think lovebirds and cockatiels are just, if you want that feeling of like affection, you know what I mean, yeah. Now, if you answered no to any of those conditions that I mentioned, Perhaps a bird or a parrot is not for you. Other pets um, that I think are great could be pets like a bearded dragon, which is a reptile, but it doesn't depend on like your time for affection. You could just put it in like a tank. You can interact with it safely. And I mean, I wouldn't say it's a cheap pet, but it's not as expensive, I would say, as say a parrot. And there are other pets like that you can have uh, hamsters right bunnies those make good pets ferrets i love ferrets they do take some time because you need to play with them ferrets make good affectionate pets 
So anyways, I'm blabbing on and on and on But I just wanted to say this in a vlog because yes, I see I do see a lot of comments saying Oh, I want a parrot. I want I want to buy one just like her But um, I wanted to go over the things that I considered before buying her and that you should consider too before buying your parrot because otherwise you end up giving them away and these shelters who rescue these parrots have to save all of these parrots that are plucking feathers that are depressed that are that have behavioral problems because they um, are either neglected or they weren't properly cared for because the owner didn't think twice before buying them and look at those feathers your feathers are coming in Wow I can't wait for this bird to fly mm. Can you kiss? Can you kiss? Kiss? Woohoo! That was a hard kiss! Oh. I swear, every day she is looking more and more like an adult parrot. It's crazy. It's incredible how fast they grow and develop. Look, she's like talking to me. She's trying to tell me about something. What is it you found there? Hmm? What is it? Look what I have! Look what I have! She gets so excited. Yes! Yes, this is the toy that's been in your cage that you didn't really play with but now that it's out Different context <laughs> It's much more appealing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at the bell. Go 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 check out the bell Yes, isn't that awesome? She loves bells anything that makes a noise go go get it Good girl. Look how fast she runs remember before when she used to walk around She'd always trip onto her beak not no more. She is a proficient walker. Soon she's gonna be learning to perch and then she'll learn to fly. It'll be awesome. I can't wait to be there for her first flight. I remember when Malaya flew for the first time. It was just so magical the moment. Do you remember that vlog, Mabuhai Squad, from last year? Here you go. All right guys, so this is her I'm sleepy look. She just stops playing, she's tired, just sits in place. Which means it's time to bring you back, back to the cage, to sleep. Okay, time to sleep, sleep in your new box. You'll enjoy this new box. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna close the cage door, but I'm gonna put this toy right here. So you can play with it as you wish. There you go. Mm -hmm. Time to sleep. She's gonna do some last minute playing, but watch, she will get so sleepy. Good morning! <laughs> yes. So today, little one, you're going to be spending some time with Ate Elsie, who is also part of the clan. So get used to her. She's awesome. Good morning, Mubuhai Squad. Another day, mm -hmm. another adventure. So. It's quite a big day today. Mm -hmm. I have my stud in, I got my chain, I got my sandal. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside mm -hmm. because today is quite a big day because we are going to 